with the Upkick and Bass. Really, really excited for this tutorial today. This tutorial today is all about percussion and how you can use it to give some life and energy to your tracks. <coughs> um, this plays a very big role in my music specifically. This is something a lot of you guys have uh, messaged me about individually, wondering how I do my percussion. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about first the different types of percussion then some artists who excel in this and some labels of focus and show you some actual examples and then we'll get started in Ableton and I'll show you how I actually break that down. So when thinking about percussion for house music, it is things like bongos, congas, timbales, djembes, those are all very similar types of drum sounds that act as percussion. Um, you have stuff like a cowbell, a tambourine, shakers, clave, woodblock, rim shot, all things like that. I have three tracks here. I'm going to play eight bars from each of them. And then just to give you an idea of the type of percussion that we're going to be talking about in this in this tutorial. And I think just keep in mind, not all the percussion has to be this hectic and crazy. I just felt like these were really great people to and tracks to reference <clears throat> when talking about percussion um, because it's so apparent what it is. So let's go ahead and listen to the first eight bars of each of these. Okay, so that's the first one by Tommy and Cash and Data Lee. It's called What to Do. It's on Nozu. Okay, so that was Occult Rhythms by Mean. And then the last one here is um, called The Gotchalo by Andrus. It's a very big record. Cool. So as you can hear in those three records, the percussion really is the forefront of those tracks. So I just wanted to want to give you guys some examples and and kind of where we're going to be going with this. So I'm going to pull up Ableton now. Um, I have this sort of um, really basic drum groove here. <coughs> cool. So it's literally just the most basic house groove ever. Um, so what I have here is I have already written out the things that we're going to be adding in. And I think if you struggle with percussion and you're trying to learn, I think already having these types of sounds, um, excuse me, sorry, I'm just getting organized here. If you kind of already have these sounds already written out in your template, um, it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, so you kind of don't forget to add these things. Um, so as you're learning specifically, I would recommend having these types of things already built out. So let's go ahead and start with my favorite, which is the congos and bongos. Bongos and congos and djembes and all that fun stuff. So there's two different ways you can do this. The first one is by using these built-in kits from Ableton. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in conga in the search bar here. And anything with these .alc files... There's tons of them, right? So like, let's just go ahead and grab this one. So what we're gonna need to do, these are all midis, so I need to make a new one because I have these all on audio. So let's go ahead and grab this here. It's gonna bring in a random pattern for you. Let's just go ahead and just delete that. Um, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna audition these sounds here and see which ones I like. I like that one. Um, and I will literally just click around Something as simple as that I think sounds nice. So that's a cool little pattern. Let's go ahead and just make this our new loop here. And let's just drag this out all the way. <coughs> cool. So that already is sounding pretty cool. Um, so that's one way I do it. Another way I do it is by using loops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to duplicate this two times. So we have three 
different um, conga slash bongo layers there. And what I like to do is head over to Loop Cloud, um, which is here. And let's go ahead and audition some conga loops over this and see what works. And what we're going to do is when we find our three loops, um, it doesn't always have to be three. It could be two. It could be five. It could be six. All you're going to do then is we're going to consolidate them and make our own pattern from those. So let's go ahead and type in conga and let's audition these over top. <clears throat> so that one to me already sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and drag that one here. And first and foremost, a lot of these like conga loops are going to have a lot of swing already on them from like being another pack. So we're just going to quantize these. Cool. Let's go ahead and find another one now while auditioning over top. Cool. I think there's some cool stuff in there. So let's go ahead and grab this one and drag it to the end. And like I said, let's quantize this one too. Let's go ahead and grab one more. That one sounds cool. Um, like again, we'll just shove these out. Now here's what we have in terms of Congo. So we have this, this, and this, and the one we made too in here. So it sounds a little bit hectic. I can't really see these. I'm just going to make these louder like this. so We can actually see them and I'll turn them down this way. Oops. Cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of use these um, transient markers here as like, as like cue points for myself. And I'm going to go ahead and just delete out any times that they're playing on top of each other. So I don't want those playing at the same time. And then I'll let this one here play. So I'm going to get rid of this one, these two play. And <clears throat> we didn't have this is a new hit here that didn't happen before. So let's go ahead and get rid of this one here. Bring it to here. We'll get rid of this one here. Bring it to here. We'll get rid of this. And let's go ahead and loop this section and see how this all sounds together. Oops, let's separate. Yeah, and it's okay. Some of them play over each other. Um, it's fine. It's just, you know, you're really just deleting things out and testing. So let's see how this sounds, this bloop. That sounds cool. Let's go ahead and now consolidate this into its own thing. And that'll be our conga bongo pattern right there. So let's go ahead and check this out. Cool. Now it's pretty repetitive. So what I would recommend doing at this point is like, making it into an eight because now right that's a pretty short loop there right so what we can do now is we start making it a little more interesting maybe we'll get rid of one here maybe we will get rid of one here as well get rid of this and kind of make it its own new thing over here and there and i think that already alone sounds way more interesting and less repetitive so that will be our new conga loop there and then some other things you could try too is you could try just pitching these down as well like nice and now you've kind of just used three conga loops <coughs> um, that are all recorded from people who know how to play the congas very well i don't know how to play congas and bongas at all so i can try to program them in but nothing's going to be better than someone who actually knows how to play them so with these types of sounds i'm typically um sampling these things in um, I do draw them in sometimes. Like I like this pattern here that we did. Sounds cool. Cool. I think this sounds pretty good. <laughs> 